students now we will talk about types of data in statistics we have primarily three types of data in statistics first is raw data in this only observations are there in this type of data only observations are there for example xi can be say 2 7 1 12 13 5 6 the is all right then we have discrete frequency distribution in this we have in this data we have observations and their frequencies What is the frequency? Number of times an observation is repeated. Is number of times an observation is repeated. Third is you can see example. For example, x i f i table will be given to you. Say one, two, three, seven, nine, six, two, four, seven, one, two. So what this means that one observation one is coming two times, two is coming four times, three is coming seven times, seven is coming one time, and nine is coming two times. this data as seen from raw data point of view will look like this agar main iska raw data dekhta hu to dekhiye one two times aa raha hai two four times three seven times in seven one time in nine Two times. So this type of data. Now this data will become very large. In order to make our data small, we will take frequencies. Then one is coming two times, two is coming four times, three is coming seven times. So this is known as discrete frequency distribution, where we have observations and number of times an observation is repeated. Got it now? now in next third type of data that is continuous frequency distribution also known as cmp in this data we have class intervals and frequencies 
for example, set number of for example. Class intervals and frequency. Say zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty, forty to fifty. Say frequencies are one, three, seven, two, one. So we have this means. Between zero to ten, we have one observation. Between ten to twenty, we have three observations. Between thirty to thirty, we have seven observations. And between thirty to forty, we have two observations. And between forty to fifty, we have single observations. Now we can convert CFD to DFD. How? By taking midpoints of the class intervals. By taking midpoints, midpoints of class interval as x i. So, in order to convert this into discrete frequency distribution. I will take midpoints of these class intervals from zero to ten. The midpoint is five. Then fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, and forty-five. Here frequencies will remain same. Now here it is CFD continuous frequency distribution. But in this format, where we have taken midpoints of the class intervals, this is being converted into discrete frequency distribution. Note it down.